Somehow, I've got to fit the whole solar system on this one page. Now to make this as accurate as possible, I've aligned all of the planets in kind of the right order, at kind of the right size, to the right scale, into a different sheet. So if I peel this guy off, they should line up in roughly the right place. Uh, the sun goes there. Okay, let's start off the sun with some Easter yellow. Bit of yellow cab, some Campari orange, and some red orange. And with my magazine paper, I'm just gonna mud all that up a bit. And a little more detail just at the edges. For Jupiter, I want some palish brown. A little sand across the middle. Cover that in cappuccino. With my finger, I'm just gonna give it some swipes. Beautiful! Now I'm gonna start Earth with a little hazelnut brown. Some of this greenery over the top of that. Scrumple up the weekly, get some texture on there, and we'll come back to that. Get a little shadow on Jupiter. Saturn's kind of like Jupiter, but it's darker at each end, and like lighter towards the middle. A little sand across there. Cappuccino right there, and sand over everything. And we'll do the swipey thing again. Yeah, nice, I like that. Just a little shadow around here. I can't remember what Venus looks like. <laughs> Why does Venus look like tiger bread? Maybe try some saffron yellow right here. Bit of a darker yellow just up this corner. And some red orange. Let's get a real edgy part here and try and make tiger bread. To scale, I will take that. Shadow and a little highlight, why not? Okay, coming back to Earth here, I'm gonna tear this up and we're making continents. That is 100% accurate. I want some ultramarine around this side and sky blue around here. Let's flick these guys off. Come on, Australia. Let's go now. Now on here, I want some white. Load up this little sponge and we add the weather. You didn't believe me when I said this was accurate. What if I was to tell you that this is the Gulf of Mexico and this is the South Pole? Shadow. Okay, for Mars, I want some royal red. Little shot red. Some black over that. Quick model with the weekly and peel it off. Shadow. ta -da! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need all this to dry. These are nice and dry now, so let's get this done. So I've got my bespoke planet stencils here, so let's get them all laid down. Now I'm just weighing everything down with some nuts, bolts, and stones, and anything, really. For the rings on Saturn, I want some sand here and here. And Uranus, fresh blue here and here. Now I want the whole painting covered in black. Now I want some of this light blue just around the sun here. Bavaria blue just around the edge of that. And some ultramarine just around the edge of all that. Oh yeah, you knew it was coming. Sticky! Just a few stars, not too many. I want it to be as realistic as possible. I want some transparent orange just around where the sun is. And same again with transparent yellow. Now I need to do the rings on Saturn and Uranus. To do that, I'm going to fold up this piece of card, like so. Cut it down to the size that I want it. Cut that in half. And I just want to cut a few little notches in it. This is what's going to make the rings. And we have a Skadusha. Okay, let's start with Saturn. Hit it with a little bit of clear. And with the Skadusha, we just line it up and Skadoosh. Skadoosh. Same with Uranus, but slightly lighter. And we'll just finish this off with a couple shooting stars. One here, here, and here. Squiggle my diggle and see how it looks. Boom, 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 and boom. Behold the system of solar.